What's going on, you beautiful bastards? Welcome back to another week three selectums. And uh, week two, I didn't get a single pick wrong. Week one, I didn't get a single pick wrong. So we're hoping to go ahead and continue that streak of not getting any type of game wrong. So we're going to start off with Thursday coming up. And we have the 2 0 Patriots versus the 2 0 Texans. It's tough. I like the Patriots if Garoppolo is there, but he's hurt. I definitely like them if Tom Brady's there, but um, not really sure if Garoppolo is going to be playing or not. And it being uh, Wednesday, I still haven't heard anything. Heard he can't even lift his arm up. Uh, but as of now, we're going to go on ahead and roll with the Texans. If Garoppolo starts and is healthy, I'll go with the Patriots. But if he starts and you know and he's banged up, I'll, I will go with the Texans. So. Two out of three leaves me with the Texans. There's no way Garoppolo is going to be healthy. If he does play, it's going to be a little dinged up, but I'm going with the Texans. Uh, then we have Cardinals uh, at the Bills, and I keep thinking the Bills are just going to emerge. You know, LaShawn McCoy hasn't done anything in Buffalo since he got there, really. Um, you know, gets a good 50 yards rushing a week, and that's about it. Uh, hasn't really been too big of a factor in the passing game. He'll get two, three, four receptions. For about 15 yards and whatnot, that's just not the shady, you know, we're used to. We're used to them being very versatile and, you know, eclipsing 100 yards total, sometimes rushing alone, and then you factor in the receiving. But, you know, they're just used, he's just used differently a little in Buffalo. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and go with the Cardinals. I think, you know, better defense. Uh, offense is, you know, Larry Fitzgerald uh, is tied in the league with three touchdowns. I believe it's just him and Kelvin Benjamin with three if I'm mistaking Mulligan. But uh, Larry Fitz, what I believe, three touchdowns, and we're going to go with the Cardinals. We have the Raiders at the Titans right here. I'm going to go on ahead and select the Raiders on this one. Uh, you know, Raiders Raiders looking good this year, man. I like what the Raiders are doing. Uh, definitely like what, uh, you know, they are doing, taking chances, little little ballsy. Little ballsy going for fourth downs and, you know, the two-point conversion in week one. And I like that. I like that aggressiveness out of uh, Del Rio. I definitely like it. So we got the Raiders winning in that one. Redskins versus the Giants. We're going to go with the Giants here. I believe I selected them over the Cowboys. I also selected them over the Saints. And it's just their, their defensive pass rush is really, really good. And, you know, the Redskins without RG3, I mean, he – with the RG3. That's the Browns because I'm looking at the Browns picture because they're the next game. I mean, the Redskins just really haven't been looking good. Uh, you know, the rushing game just, you know, Matt Jones, I'm expecting to have a big year. He hasn't really done too much of anything. Uh, we're we're going to go with the Giants on this one. The Browns at the Dolphins, we're going to go with the Dolphins. The Browns don't have RG3. They don't have, you know, their starting quarterback. I don't even know who the hell's starting over there. I haven't even. Is it McCown? I, I don't even know anything about Buffalo. I mean, Buffalo. Jeez, I'm getting mixed up. I don't even know anything about the Browns. Uh, we're 100% we're, we're going Dolphins on this one. Dolphins win their first game of the year. Ravens at the Jaguars. We're going with the Ravens, and we're going to have the Ravens starting off 3-0 over the Jaguars. Lions and the Packers. Lions 1-1. The Packers are 1-1. Packers lost a very, very, very tough, 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 tough game week two uh, Sunday night against the uh, Vikings and you know Diggs went off. They could not stop the young man, uh, but I, I feel like they're gonna bounce back. You know, Aaron Rodgers, Jordy Nelson, Randall Cobb. You know, they just have way too much on that offense not to be successful. And I just feel like they're gonna have a really really big offensive week. Denver at the Bengals. Now the Bengals have a have a good defense. So do the Broncos. <laughs> Broncos have arguably the best defense in the NFL. Uh, A.J. Green is tough to, to deal with, but, you know, they have, you know, a few different matchups they can switch off with Tlaib and Chris Harris, and their secondary is just really, really good. And then you got to worry about Von Miller on the outside, who um, you blitz him 15 times, it seems like he's coming in more often than not. He's just an, a monster. We're going to go with Denver in this one. Uh, tough to go against uh, the Bengals, because their team is really, really good, but... You know, if they're matched up against a team like the Bengals, I mean, uh, like the Broncos, we're going to go with the Broncos. Vikings at the Panthers. Now, uh, tough. Now, it's not like AP was completely lighting it up on the ground. Now, AP is 
rumored to be out several months because of his injury. Uh, I believe I see on NFL.com that he was um, he was hurt. You know, obviously he left the game on Sunday night, and his injury was, uh, I think, a meniscus, and he's going to miss several months. Now, it's not like this is, you know, the prime AP we're used to, you know, three, four years ago who was running for 137 yards a game and, you know, sometimes 150, 160. He, you know, I'm not saying he's not that guy anymore. You know, we haven't really seen him have the opportunity to, but the Vikings are without him. <clears throat> so that's a big, big, big blow to their offense, arguably the best running back in the NFL. Uh, Carolina has a very good defense. They don't have to worry about Adrian Peterson at all. We're going to go Carolina. The Rams at the Buccaneers. I like the Bucks in this one, <clears throat> mainly because I have a strong hatred for any team in the NFC West besides my beloved 49ers. So I'm definitely hoping the Bucks come home with a victory on this one. The Rams definitely looked better last week um, than they did against the 49ers. You know, they won a tough division game against the Seahawks. Uh, Todd Gurley had, you know, a little bit more success than he did when he faced the Niners. And overall, the team just looked better than uh, their opening week. So we're going to go on ahead and go with the Rams over the Bucks. Then we have the 49ers over the Seahawks. Tough loss for my Niners last week against the Panthers. Kelvin Benjamin was a monster. Very tough to stop. We came back, though. We came back late in the game, and then it just got away from us. But uh, we're going to go with the 49ers. We're going to go with the 49ers over the Seahawks. The Seahawks are done. They stink. They're smelly. They suck. They're not a good team whatsoever. They're very discombobulated. Their quarterback, mediocre. Running back, mediocre. Wide receivers, mediocre. The way they don't smile, mediocre. But the 49ers are fly as hell. Okay, so we got the Jets at the Chefs. Now the Chiefs, good defense, and so do the Jets. I mean, Revis is out here getting burnt like toast, but still, we got uh, we got ourselves uh, two, two good defenses. Still don't know the situation with... Um, Jamal Charles, uh, it might be back this week. I'm not sure. I haven't really uh, looked into it. But we're going to roll with Kansas City on this one. I like the Chiefs over the Jets. We have the 1-1 one -one Chargers versus the 0-2 Colts. And I believe the Colts will get their first victory of the year. Uh, Andrew Luck had an explosive week one to come back and not have that great of a week two. Uh, but you got to take a look at the team he was playing. He was playing Denver. Very good defense. Tough to move the ball against in, I mean, Chicago. The Chargers are coming off of a molly whopping of Jacksonville. But I like the Colts in this one. I think this right here is going to be their first victory of the year. Next up, the 2-0 Steelers versus the 2-0 Eagles. This right here is a very, very, very good game. I'm really looking forward to this one. Wentz has been looking unbelievable. I think he, like, set the rookie record for um, well, something to do with two starts. I've seen it on Twitter. I think it was, like, two starts, most passes to, to start a career without an interception or something goofy like that. Um, he's one of the handful of rookies to ever uh, be named opening day and go 2-0 and in his rookie season. He's <clears throat> um, like him, Ryan Leaf, and it was a few people. John Elway, uh, Eli Manning, I think. But uh, nonetheless, very good game. Now, this is the Eagles' first real test. You got to look at the teams that they uh, matched up against uh, week one and week two. And I just think it's, it's going to be a real tougher challenge <coughs> Excuse me, going up against Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh is not Cleveland. You know, they have a top-notch defense. They have arguably the best receiver in the NFL. D'Angelo Williams looks revived. He's running the ball very well. They got big Ben Raplesberger. They have themselves a very good team. And it's, uh, you know, I'm, I'm going to go out on a limb here. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say Eagles. I'm going to go with the Eagles here. I'm going to go with the underdogs. I think Wentz is going to go on ahead and deliver a victory and bring them to 3-0. Sunday night game, we have the Bears versus Cowboys. Now, Cowboys are one bad judgment from Terrence Williams from possibly 
being 2-0, staying in bounds. Now, they were down, but who knows? Maybe Dean uh, Bailey makes an incredible kick. Maybe they go to overtime. Who knows? But unfortunately, he, we will never find out because he decided to not go out of bounds. But Prescott has looked amazing. He's looked really good. He's looked really, 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 really good. So the fact that I had to tweet out, like, what college did, because I don't watch college football at all. And I was just curious, what college did this kid go to? How good was he? And they were like, no, he was very good. He was a top player on just a terrible team. Uh, I think it was Mississippi State or or Mississippi. I'm not sure where he went. But um, I think they said that that they, like, almost beat Alabama or something like that. Again, if I'm wrong, Mulligan, I don't watch college football. I'm just trying to remember what I was told. But uh, I'm uninterested in the Bears beating any NFL team. I don't think it can happen. You know, uh, just not looking good for them. Jay Cutler is, I, I say it all the time, Jay Cutler, when he is on, looks like he could be potentially the best quarterback in the NFL. When this man is slinging dots, this man looks like the best quarterback in the NFL. He has the throw power to just make these crazy throws. And when he's on the money, I love Jay Cutler. On the money, Jay Cutler, I promise you, in my opinion, is the top five quarterback. He's freaking amazing. The problem is, on the money, Jay Cutler only happens 2% of the time out of the entire NFL season. It, it's, it's, like an, it's like an eclipse. You rarely see it, but when you do, it's magical. The problem is, we don't see that amazing 2% Jay Cutler. We see the 98% Jay Cutler that's pure buns, ash juice, overthrowing stuff, making bad reads. It's terrible. I do not like the Bears in this. I don't like the Bears against anybody. Monday night, we have the Falcons at the Saints. Now, the Saints are 0-2. The Falcons are 1-1. I like... Uh, Freeman this game, Monday night, if you guys are doing daily fantasy and whatnot. I definitely think Freeman has himself a very big game. Um, the Saints offense, you know, Drew Brees is doing what Drew Brees does. And Matt Ryan is just out here just looking amazing so far to begin the season. We're going to go with Atlanta over the Saints. So to uh, wrap up these week's picks, we got the Texans over the Patriots, Cardinals over the Bills, the uh, Raiders over the Titans, Giants over the Redskins, Dolphins over the Browns, Ravens over the Jaguars, Packers over the Lions, Broncos over the Bengals, Panthers over the Vikings, the, uh, shoot, who did I say for the Buccaneers and Rams? Did I say Bucks? Oh, of course I said Bucks. I don't want no damn NFC West team winning. 100% Bucks. Uh, Bucks over the Rams, 40, <coughs> 49ers over the Seahawks, the uh, Chiefs over the Jets, the Colts over the Chargers, the Eagles over the Steelers, the Cowboys over the Bears, and the Falcons over the Saints. So I would love to know your guys' thoughts and opinions, man. Let me know who you guys have winning. Uh, let me know which picks you guys have different than me. It's your boy, Jess, man. We will see you guys next video. Peace!